Millennials, what's your favorite industry to kill? I'd love to kill Ticketmaster. I am become millennial, destroyer of industries. Everything except big avocado and the toast syndicate. I love how we're apparently ruining the fabric softener industry. The wedding industry, man it's expensive to get married. I want to see this generation to be the first to do away with expensive ceremonies and engagement rings. This morning I saw an article about a super frugal couple who managed to spend only $10,000 on their wedding rather than the $30,000 normal people people spend on a wedding. Blew my mind that $10,000 is considered frugal. I fully intend to beat my parents wedding cost of $1,800 if I end up getting married. That will, of course. Skip 95% of the usual, boring and stressful, wedding traditions. Cable. Duck cable for charging upwards of $70 a month and not letting you pick and chose channels individually. When I can afford Netflix Amazon. And crave TV for around $25 a month. I can also get NHL Game Center for about $150 for a year. No one will show up to Cable's funeral. Textbooks. I have no idea what the answer is, since books are essential for learning, however, the textbook industry just seems criminal, and forcing students to purchase overpriced books, on top of everything else, feels like extortion to me, I'm done with undergrad, and I may go back for grad school or I may not, but I pirated all of my books after freshman year, and, if I had to do it all over, the only thing I'd do differently is pirate my books from freshman year. I'm broke af. So all of them I guess. Not an industry, but Pearson. Duck Pearson. For profit prisons. It's kind of a work in progress. Baby boomers. What is your favorite way to ruin the economy and blame it on your children? Car dealerships. Been treated like it every time I've ever gone to one because I didn't want to leave $25,000 in debt. So Craigslist it is. Parking garages. The parking garages downtown charge $85 a month, or $9 per day, when I could just park for free and walk 6 blocks. I honestly don't see how they get away with that crap still. That garage is never above 20% capacity. According to my aunt, regular drinks. The other day we were out on the town, and every time she saw someone with a not regular drink she pointed it out to me. Some examples include Candros registered sign, a green smoothie, and kombucha. Apparently only coffee, tea, soda, water, and a few others are acceptable drinks. Ideally, human trafficking. I feel like I'm reading an episode list of Adam ruins everything. In the US, for profit health insurance and prisons are top of the list for me. The loan shark industry that only offers high interest loans to students. Duck those guys. Prison telephone companies. We have cell service now. Can't they just have a series of cell phones for use instead? No dangerous calls out to service the lines anymore. Just on the jenks side of millennial. But I'll chime in. The textbook industry. Keep sharing those books. Keep downloading them. Don't let assholes make you the educated poor. I'm going to disrupt the real estate industry with my radical plan to erect tents on underutilized industrial land and then rent them out to desperately poor people for immense amounts of profit. Coal mining. Makes my D hard. I wish we could make prescription drug commercials illegal. Golf. The upkeep of golf courses where I live is such a waste of water. On a related note. What stores would millennials put in malls to make them viable again? I keep forgetting I have millennials to snake people installed. I love this extension. Wine corks. I get it. There's something slightly fun about sniffing the cork before tasting the bottle of wine you bought at the nice restaurant. Actually, you do this to detect if the wine's gone bad. And there are plenty of fun white suburban mom home decorating things. For storing your wine corks. But honestly, the cork is crap. It's not airtight so pathogens can get in and ruin your wine. If you duck up when opening your bottle, you could get little chunks in your wine. Team twist off caps FTW. 
Taxes. I've had a bunch of bad customer service experiences with them. They cost more than Uber and Lyft. They are inconvenient. I can't just quickly order one with my phone. They crowd the roads. Taxi drivers don't stop driving when demand is low. They operate on a crooked medallion system. They require drivers to purchase a special car or join a company instead of just driving their own car and working for themselves. They don't tell me the price in advance. They don't let me see who the driver is in advance. They don't let me leave reviews. They don't have a GPS making sure I am on the fastest shortest route. They don't have a way to match my phone GPS and the car's GPS to make sure I'm safe. They require a bunch of outdated training for drivers such as memorizing a map of an entire city instead of just relying on a GPS that has live traffic updates. They use lobbying and extensive outdated regulations to keep out better competitors. They often claim the credit card machine or the meter is broken. The cars are often outdated. Can we please kill BuzzFeed and CNN? Cable advertising. Fossil fuels. Itty chain restaurants. I wish Comcast would just go burn in hell. Unfortunately where I live it's Comcast or nothing. Subpar hokey ass casual dining chains. I can make better food at home after watching a 12 minute YouTube video. Nobody needs your piss poor excuse for a meal. I wish we could collectively kill Facebook. I hate what it has become. Unfortunately it has become one of the most cost effective methods for targeted advertising. I'm 33 and don't know what freaking generation I belong to but the insurance industry needs to go away. We are all betting against ourselves and making rich people richer because we can't possibly plan for worst case scenarios. Chain restaurants. Looking back at my childhood. I cannot believe my parents would take me to places like Burger King, MCDs, Applebee's, Red Lobster, Olive Garden, etc. Food is all in bags or microwaved or worse. Especially places like Olive Garden and Red Lobster that try to be higher end restaurants. After exploring and being in many cities, I look for local eateries restaurants. Always support local. Farm to table restaurants. Yes, it always costs more. But most of the time the food comes from better places and you are supporting a local business in downtown Main Street, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Oregon, Georgia, wherever you are. Also being in my early 20s. All my friends and most people my age, college aged, really avoid any chain places. Even BWW which is a pretty popular place for young people. I love buying avocados and ruining the housing market. I want all millennials to kill hoas. Please do this for me. Taxes. After a cab driver took a 5 km detour on what should have been a 5 km trip, I haven't used a taxi since. Uber had its issues as does Lyft. But they are far better than any taxi I've used. US. I'd love to see this generation kill or severely weaken the political industry. Do away with marathon elections. Cap campaign spending to where these giant political machines can only run for a month or so. It's mid 2017 and I still feel like the presidential election is happening. And next year there's a whole new set of elections for House, Senate, Governors and other state offices. It never stops and it's making everyone hate each other. We don't have to perpetuate this nonsense as our generation comes of age. Perhaps not kill but rather make a little weaker. But the NFL. I am a fan of sports, namely the NBA, MLB, MLS, other soccer leagues, F1, but the NFL I just dislike and find reprehensible. Are the play necessarily mind you, but how the league is run, cover up of concussions, being the worst offender of taxpayer money paying for stadiums, etc, and how ridiculously oversaturated the NFL has become. The amount of influence and behind the scenes power the league has on our mainstream society is pretty mind boggling. It's turned into a god awful product to say the least. That entire millennials kill XX industry because they don't buy our products is so stupid. You can only hope to stay afloat in a capitalistic society if you sell your product, yeah. But with the passing of time there will always be a product that falls out of relevance. Believe it or not. Crying about it and blaming the millennials for not buying enough will not persuade them to run to their next Walmart and blow all their cash on some if they deem unnecessary. 
Every company that agrees with the millennials kill XX industry just need to be a bit smart and switch it up a little. Actually offer products that people are interested in. Maybe. Diamonds. What a ducking lie. I'd love me a good private health insurance industry Colin. Bunch of ducking vultures. Big tobacco. Smoking is associated with higher risks for cancer in almost every organ in your body. It's nasty. I want to see an end to arbitrary monopolies imposed under government auspices who operate under the lie that they provide a better alternative to open market. Example, alcohol in Ontario. Comcast. They raise prices on their loyal customers, purposely make their billing difficult to understand, and they waste paper by sending me advertisements to upgrade my business service at least four times a month for the past few years. Universities handing out twice the number of parking passes as there are parking spots. On top of that, the university meter maids lick their chops at all the tickets they give which are double the amount of the city's parking tickets. It's such a scam. And the parking pass is around $300. Radio. Duck it. It was better before the clear channel takeover. When they had real DJs. Who would take requests and play different songs instead of the 200 of whatever they have over and over again for a week straight. I'd rather listen to Spotify or my iPod and control what I'm listening to at all times instead of hearing Jack and Diane five times a ducking day on a classic hit station that repeats everything every three hours. Big avocado toast is going down. People getting paid to keep marijuana illegal. The magazine industry. Waste of paper and money. I'd like to find a way to kill the private prison industry. Hopefully soon. Higher education. It needs a serious overhaul. The health insurance industry. The fact that people are cool with the idea that a third party should be able profit from my access to medical care is mind boggling. Nursing homes. Our generation is smaller. All these nursing home mills that mistreat seniors and pay crap wages are only losing clients govt paychecks by the day. Eventually competition will encourage change. But until then, many nursing homes will be the final indignity before the end for many seniors today. Fossil fuels. We can stop burning coal now. Y'all. The funeral industry. The dead ain't gonna care anyways. Oil. Coal. Car dealerships. Utility monopolies. Diamonds. I'd say healthcare. But the boomers are doing it to themselves. We'll carry the blame though. I'm sure. Coal. Who wants mountains blown up for a substance that is causing climate change, when we know there are cleaner technologies out there? Malls, only thing I ever get at a mall is a pretzel. I ducking love pretzels. If there were more gaming and bookstores present at malls and just generally more things to actively do besides piss away money I'd be happy to visit them more often. Purebred dogs. I work at a grooming salon and am an ex-worker for a doggy hotel. And it pains me to hear about how all these people got them from breeders instead of going to a shelter. There was one family who had a rescue dog and everyone was talking about it like it was a super big deal. Like, they actually got it from a shelter. Can you believe they got it from a shelter? They're so awesome for adopting from a shelter. Adoption should be the norm. You mean to tell me out of the hundreds of dogs that come in every day in both the salon and hotel, only one was from a shelter? It hurts. Plus all the health issues that come with purebreds. Oil and coal. It needs to die. College. Textbooks loans tuition it's all one big ass blasting. Comcast. I'll pay more in rent to find an apartment specifically so I'm not stuck with them for internet. Plastic shopping bag manufacturers. Always bring my own reusable bags. A backpack. Or just carry it out if I buy like 1-3 items. Animal agriculture. Dairy industry has been freaking out about the rise in soy almond milk drinkers. And general decline of milk consumption. Vegans jumped from 1% to 6% of the population in just 2 years. That doesn't include the plant based diet folks. Germany is increasing its pro-veg environmental platform. Rise in conscientious consumers means that even PPL sticking to animal products are looking for less mass-produced, more ethically produced versions. 
cage free eggs, small farm beef, etc. It's interesting to see the occasional leaks of memos and emails from the industry. They generally don't seem to be pivoting very well though.